Sonori Valente here with the Mean Green Show, joined by Mason Richards, defensive end out of North Texas. Mason, so if you could tell everybody you're playing a new position in this 3 3 5 under Coach Capone. What, tell us a little bit about that, what your responsibilities are going to be at this year in that defense. So, so basically, I got moved to, it's called the Leo position. It's basically a true defensive end, so I'll be, you know, on the edge and five and the three, three tech, so I'll be playing on the guard too. So, uh, it's really that pass rush responsibility. The last year, I was more of a linebacker covering receivers and tight ends, but now I'm just, you know, quarterback. Is that something that you wanted to get back to, or are you going to miss the, the linebacking uh, uh, duties that you had in last year? I'm going to be real. I'm going to miss it a little bit. You know, that was fun. That was probably my most fun I had playing football in a long time. You know, I was you know, running with tight ends, receivers, and running backs, and, you know, making plays in the open field. But I am excited to get back to my roots. That's what got me here, you know, getting sacked. So that's what got me to North Texas. I'm really excited about this. So this is your second media day in your, in your college career. First one being at the Lone Star Conference out of New Mexico. And man, just how has the journey just, just changed you, humbled you? Um, you know, yours is unique in today's transfer portal era. It's based D2, not OCS, D1. Um, made second team all USA, is that correct? And then right now your second team pro, pro, pro football focus, is that right? So that's a pretty big jump. So how's that journey been? And how's everything changed for you up to this point? It's been... Uh, Really, you know, I catch myself sometimes when I'm in the, the indoor facility, like no one's in there. Like when we get done with our workouts, I just sit in there and I, I look around and I really like self reflect uh, where I came from and just let me stay motivated. Like it's, it's really humbling. But uh, yeah, the media day back in the high school wasn't like this on a smaller scale, but it's, it was just so humbling to get this opportunity to come here. Like, so, uh, I think I believe Coach Morris chose me and Jeff to go in. So just being able to be chosen for this is really humbling. That's one of my goals. You know, like when I first got here, I was like, you know, really, it's one of my goals to try and you know, make it to a media day. Make it to a point where I can show my work ethic and turn this ball on the team where I'm seen as a leader and a playmaker and I can like, represent the team. And it's just truly an honor. So I don't think anybody here, even with all the coaches and ADs and everything, knows the exact rule of the transfer portal. Because from what we all understand, you got one free transfer and then maybe a grad transfer, then you see all these guys transfer like four or three times. That being said, as productive as you were last year, was it ever tempting to retest the portal this year? What what ultimately made you not do that? Uh, no, I never had the. I was never tempted to do that, you know, like, regardless, uh, I feel like this is the place to be, honestly, like, you can't beat being 40 minutes up the road from home and uh, playing FBS ball, you know, and, and now we're moving up into a higher conference and playing Power 5 team, you know, because it really doesn't matter, you can get drafted wherever, and, but it helps to be at an FBS game. but, you know, I never, never wanted to go up again, you know, this is, this is my home, uh, I truly love North Texas. I bleed green for sure. And I'm really happy to be able to, to graduate from North Texas. So it's, it's really an honor. A lot of talk about the, the next level and you know, what it takes to potentially get drafted. Uh, when you went to, to New Mexico out of high school, you know, that's it's a long shot regardless. It's a really long shot from, from you know, the Lone Star Conference. Now that you're here, where, 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 where's your temperature at? I mean, you're, you're getting talked about it as one of those guys that, you know, you're maybe, maybe a late rounder. Are you, is that something that you're hearing? Is that something that's motivating you maybe to put, put, put a good uh, body of work together this year and then maybe test it? Absolutely. Yeah, I was kind of one of those guys that had, I was really prideful, you know, like, when I went deep to, I was like, okay, these D1 schools didn't want me, so I was like, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to make it to the NFL from here, but, you know, as as time went on, I realized, you know, um, with all the coaching changes we had, it wasn't really feasible, so I decided to enter the portal, but, you know, my main thing here, I was like, I got to start, you know, I just had to give myself the best opportunity to, you know, make plays, so I earned the starting job, and I kind of took off during the season. Uh, it's definitely motivating, you know, to what we talked about. Uh, I still have a lot more to prove, but yeah, um, one of the guys that really helped me a lot when I first got here, one of the reasons why I committed, uh, Jason Smith, you know, he's, he's an offensive line coach, but uh, before he's an offensive line coach, he's a, he, he knows ball, he knows everything, he knows everything about pass rush, uh, defensive end, uh, he got drafted number two overall, so he's someone that really helped me when I first got here, and he's a, definitely a mentor of mine, uh, I definitely look up to him, he's always helping me, like when I got a, I got a grad 
traffic early on in the year. Like we played UTSA, I was like number one in the country in sacks. And I had like average like one like point nine five a game. He texted me, he was like, I only got point nine, can't even get one a game. I'm sorry, man, you gotta do more. You know, he's always motivated me, so that's kinda what should be at. But yeah, he definitely helps me. And, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely motivated to make it to the NFL and that's my goal. So last three years of college football, you've had three different defensive coordinators and three different defensive schemes. So how has it been getting used to Coach Capone's scheme? How comfortable do you feel now? With, I mean, only just the spring. I mean, it's not like you've been doing this for years yet. But how comfortable do you feel? You're a little bit older now. And have, have some of the younger guys had to lean on you at any point to try to, you know, uh, for, for, for wisdom or anything getting, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm used to it. You know, I don't, I don't really see it as a problem. You know, I'm, I'm used to it. I kind of see it as a challenge. I like to learn fast. Like, I can learn schemes fast, and so when I learn, I can help everyone else. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't really practice during the spring. I, had, I was recovering from my injury, but I, mean, I learned it pretty fast. But I think the guys are learning more of a, from a leadership standpoint and uh, from a technique, you know, like pass rush. Right? But, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely learning the scheme. It's, it's not going to be too hard to adjust to it. It's basically the same stuff. Like, it's always the same. It's just you know, we're pass rushing or we're playing a better block. That's really all it is. You know, just get off blocks and take sacks. But I'm not really. Not too worried about it. Amazing. I appreciate your time.